Hey guys, Total Legion here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Zulu mod for the Napoleon Total War. Uh, this mod is a mod that completely converts your game into a Zulu time period. And I've actually had issues actually installing this using the installer, which is provided in the actual thread on, I think it's, yeah, Total War Center. Uh, the installer doesn't work and it'll say that you don't have enough space or, or something like that. So you can install the manual version and that can be a bit tricky, especially if you don't know how to torrent these stuff. So I'm going to leave a link to a zip folder in the description, which you just got to download. And once you've downloaded that, just drag it onto your desktop like this. You want to drag this folder into your desktop and you should be left with these four files inside of it. Uh, the reason why you do the manual installation is, like I said, because the uh, EXE version or the actual installer version doesn't work for some PCs. Uh, at least that's what I found. I think it's like if you don't have enough free disk space or something, even if you have maybe like 500 gigs of disk space still, it still won't recognize it and it'll be like, nope, you don't have enough. So a way to get around that is by doing the manual installation. This probably isn't the best way of doing it because you do have to uninstall all of it if you want to play normal Napoleon Total War, but that's very simple. And then if you want to play Zulu again, you just have to reinstall it, but it is literally only four files you're dragging into folders, so it's not too much of a hassle. The first thing you want to do is go to search and type in run, click on run, and then type in percent, app data percent. Once you're here, go to the creative assembly, go to Napoleon, then go to scripts. And then this is where you're going to install uh, the first two files from our Zulu mod folder. You just drag both these scripts into this folder. Okay, it will ask to replace it, you say yes, then we're done with this, and while we're here, we're going to click this PC, go to local disk, broken files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then you want to find a Napoleon Total War, which is here, and then you want to go into data, go to campaign maps, and drag in Orient. Go back one, go to campaigns, and drag in the MP underscore EUR underscore Napoleon and you want to replace that. Okay. So like I say, uh, you do want to have a backup of this um, and an easy way to do that is just keep the zip that I have because otherwise you'll be left with an empty folder. So just keep the zip just in case you need to uh, ever reinstall it. But we want to go back to here and you want to launch Napoleon Total War and you shouldn't have any issues and hopefully let me just quickly, yeah, when it loads, you will see that we're actually on the Zulu mod. It may take a while to load though, and the resolution will be changed because you are using a new game data. Okay, so to see if it's worked, very simple. You should have all of this. And if we go to single player, we go to play battle, and we'll go to land you'll have a bunch of new maps along with the older maps like Arcoli, Dresden, stuff like that but you will have a bunch of new maps and a load of new units when you switch to obviously the Brits sometimes you have to, there we go it's got the Brits now and then you also got the Zulus on the other side and some pirates actually, there is pirates in this which is very interesting. So to uninstall the mod is very simple. Go to your Steam, right click on the Napoleon Total War, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and Verify Game Cache. And that's just going to verify every single one of your files in the Napoleon Total War. And that's going to delete all of the files that shouldn't be there, so the Zulu ones, and it's going to replace them. Uh, so once that's done, when you relaunch your game, you might have the Zulu video background still, but you'll be able to play Napoleon Total War online and whatever, just how you would without the Zulu mod. And that's how to install it. If you have any issues, feel free to put them in the comment section and I'll see if I can help. Uh, but it should work if you follow the tutorial to the point. Um, so yeah, like I say, any questions, leave in the comments. And I hope it helped and I'll see you guys next time.